Okay guys, so we have gone ahead and created this very simple landscape. Now let's go ahead and see what things we have to edit in this landscape before we put this into our actual scene. So as you remember, we had to cover this entire cylinder which is present in this scene because we don't actually want this visible and also we want to make sure the shape of the cylinder is actually replicated in the landscape itself. Not only that, we wanted to cover these markers which are present here at the top with the mountains or the land island itself so that we don't actually have to go ahead and do the marker removal also. So those are the things I want to take care of this time. So let's go ahead and start editing the texture once more till we actually extend the mountains a bit towards the edges so that we can easily uh, put these markers within the landscape and hide them. So I'll go ahead and open the attribute editor on this and let's go to the ramp node which is providing the actual uh, elevation for this texture. I'll first go ahead change this uh, you know, interpolation to smooth so that I have a much better looking result and it's extended out towards the edges a little bit more and now I can go ahead start extending the edges so I have a bit more variations now. So now I have this mesh which covers a little bit towards the edges and my markers are so close that I can easily um, uh, hide them. Now, uh, issue you might see is that the landscape is much too close to the edges and it might give you bad results. So let me decrease the amount of noise we have created so that it becomes a little bit more streamlined. Now, next thing I could try and do is go to the noise node we have and let's reduce the ratio a bit. So the amount of noise is decreased so I just see exactly how the landscape is working. Okay, so now with this in I can go ahead and start editing the edge of the landscape itself to see exactly how much of this information I want. So let's take the NURB circle we have, I'll unhide it. If you remember the original plane we cut the circle out from, it's actually extended quite close to the border of this cylinder. So let me extend this circle to be this whole region. So I extended the circle completely. Now coming back to this object, if I change any values, it should update and give you additional info. Now obviously you have uh, certain um, logged normal issues here. So let's go back to normals, unlock them and that should solve that. As you can see we have some extended regions on our mesh this time. Now what I want to do is go ahead and edit the silhouette or the outline of this landscape so that I get the land a bit more jagged on the edges. So to do that I'll go to the top view. I have my landscape selected here uh, so I'll leave it as it is. I'll go to my NURB circle, go to the CVs and I'll start editing them. Now the easiest way I can see exactly what's happening with the CVs is if I have this curve on top. So I'll just move it on top. You can select the CVs. You can see the landscape is a bit on the inside here. So I'm moving the CVs on the inside. So I'll just go ahead, start editing this and see exactly what kind of results you could get. Just make sure your uh, selection masks and things are set properly. So let's go to the status line, disable the surface selection. So I don't have to worry about accidentally selecting anything there. So I'm using the grid intersection on the object as reference to see exactly how I need to extend this mesh. So in certain regions I could actually go crazy. I can pull this out a little bit more because it's a square region I'm working with, not a circle. Okay, so I've gone ahead and edited the entire jagged outline of this. So let me change a little bit of the values here. So my polygon mesh gets updated. And now I can go ahead and again unlock the normals once more. Just so if there are any issues, uh, over here there are certain issues. So those issues would get solved. So going back to normals, unlocking them. And I'll just go ahead and hide this curve for now because I don't need it. Now. The next thing is I want to go ahead and hide these markers. To hide these markers I could just go ahead and start editing this mesh. But one thing about you know, working procedurally or working with history is that if you do any edits down the line those things which might alter the mesh 
behind the line will change all your edits like for example let's just say the vertex I'm going to move is called vertex number 10 now if I go previously and edit the NURB circle that vertex 10 might be reassigned and the vertex is placed somewhere else now so that edit which you did is going to be placed or displaced to some other location so you don't want that to happen so I'm going to start modeling in a procedural way by using the soft mod tool so let's see how we can do that I'll go ahead open the toolbox here at the bottom you have this tool called the soft mod so I'll go ahead select that and I'll click very close to one of the markers here so I get the soft mod tool which is a small s which you can see there it's a small s which I can move and it alters the mesh as if I'm working with soft selection so you can see I'm actually editing the landscape itself but I'm editing it procedurally because it's creating a new tool something which I can edit anytime I want so I've added this one uh, soft mod there I can go ahead add another one so let me select this portion here I'll start pulling this out and apparently it's a bit too far so let me see what I can do here I'll go ahead to the ramp and I'll try to change the noise a bit to see whether if it can come closer so as you can see it's a bit more closer now with a little bit of different noise so I'll go ahead and make use of this I'll create a new soft mod and move it closer I don't really want the object entirely inside I just want it not visible in the silhouette so I'll go ahead just rotate this now So as you can see from this camera view no matter what I try to do this spear will not be seen in the silhouette so quite easy methods to go ahead and try to cover up your tracks or being lazy in other words <laughs> so I would go ahead and try to do the same thing with these markers here so let me go ahead and try to do that quickly so I'll go ahead to the soft mode tool again I'll try to bring in some mesh from the side first and I'll go ahead rotate this and extend it upwards try not to use too much of soft mod because it might give you bad results it won't always give you good ones so the soft mod handle which I've just created I will load its attributes so you can see I have certain results here what I can do is actually interactively edit how the soft mod is actually working with my scene so I can go ahead edit this to see how I want things changed so I'm just editing it to create a bit more interest in the landscape so there is a cliff or a sudden drop in this area here so not only does that add an interesting idea to the landscape it also gives me some uh, something which covers up this area there so that one is done I'll go ahead use another soft mod add it here and pull that out so now as you can see all of my markers are hidden and that is literally what I wanted so that is done now another thing I could do something which is not recommended but something I would do or personally is um, just go ahead add in a soft mode somewhere in the center of this whole mesh I'll go ahead increase the fall off radius of this soft mode and I'll scale this down a bit okay let's scale this down a bit and I'll pull it out the reason I'm doing this is so that if I create the ocean or any water bodies as a different mesh I don't want it intersecting somewhere in the center especially with some kind of procedural textures like waves which will get progressive and go inwards and it'll give you just bad results it just doesn't look right so I've gone ahead and done this now this pretty much looks like a good landscape to me personally so I'm going to keep it as it is so my landscape now is done the next step is going ahead putting putting this in into our actual scene and seeing if this works out so let's do that